Okay, about Fall Guys. You might have seen this, uh, seen this guy uh, telling you how to copy the easy anti-cheat SO and using Proton Experimental after that, yada yada yada. You might have also heard that Proton GE makes it work, which does the exact same thing, but just automates it. But on my, in my case, on my desktop, I haven't found that it works. So, for that, I have found a solution. Now, here's the error returned by Epic Games. If you see this error, then this video is for you, because I found a solution to this. Now, using using a, an app or a program called Steam Tinker Launch, you can set a custom launch option. Now, what you want to do before you do any of this is install uh, Proton GE, first of all, because you want you want to run this game with Proton GE. It, it is significantly better for, for uh, than anything that Valve offers at the moment, since they all... Uh, all of the all of Valve's reports say that the game is unsupported and is not optimized for the Steam Deck. The the easy an, the anti cheat that it uses is not optimized. Now, after you get Steam Tinker Launch from whatever repo of your choice, what distribution you're on doesn't matter. You're going to want to run this command: Steam Tinker Launch Compat Compat Add. Now, what this is going to do is add Steam Tinker Launch. To your compatibility tools but be wary you're going to have to restart steam and if you're on a steam deck doing this then you might want to use the touch screen uh whilst doing this because the the other touch pads aren't going to work if you kill steam of course now after you've done that after you've installed Steam Tinker Launch alongside Proton GE, uh, you which you can do on Steam Deck, I forgot to mention, you can do with Proton Op QT. Proton Op QT. It should be in the Discover menu for any users wondering. Uh, since I already have it, I don't need to install it. But if I wanted to uh, install anything else, I would go to Add Version and then compatibility tool and choose whatever version you want to use but I always recommend uh, using the latest version if you want to get get an unsupported game working so choose whatever which what whichever you want and but in this case the one we want is 43 GE proton 743 and it and to install you press install now, since it's already installed, like I said, I don't need to do that. So, after you get that done, you go over to Fall Guys, go to Properties, and go to Compatibility. Tick the, the box that says, Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Under that, uh, select Steam Tinker Launch. Now, after you do this, whether you're on Linux or Steam Deck, something is going to appear and it's going to look a little bit like this now if you don't press the main menu quickly then you're going to get booted into the game so be quick about that uh, once you get in here go to game menu and here's where all the magic will happen now you're going to want to tick a few things here uh, tick use custom command for custom command and set a weight of 3 for custom command and what the custom command itself is going to be is this executable which you're going to find in your proton prefix for fall guys so what is a proton prefix you don't really need to know right now but what a proton prefix is is basically uh, it's something that uh, Proton creates to mimic the uh, file structure, uh, file system structure of Windows. And every Proton game has this. So to access the 
Proton prefix, you're going to want to go to wherever you st store your Steam apps, go to Compact Data, and for Fall Guys, it should be 109.75.50. Now, that should be the uh, app ID. Uh, go to PFX prefix, Drive C, Program Files x86, uh, Epic Games, Epic Online Services, and find epic online services.exe now you want to select this and after that you should be mostly done all you have to do after this is select your proton version from down here now you're going to want to select GE proton 743 and after that you should press save or save and play Make sure to save because you you don't want to do that again. Uh, after you do that, it should be fine. It might take a little bit if you're running regular Linux, or it might even take a little bit on the Steam Deck. I haven't exactly compared uh, both of them, both of the boot times. Now the main issue with this method method is. Now, the game is going to run fine. Everything is going to be okay. However, you see this uh, window. This is Epic Online Services of Log, and I haven't exactly found a way to make this silence or make it not appear since you execute the executable and have it run in the background for the game to actually work. You're going to need this open. If you're on a desktop environment, you can just minimize this, but if you're on a de uh, window manager, you can just put it in the same workspace as Fall Guys so it gets hidden away under the full screen or borderless full screen thing you're using. <laughs> and after that, it should work. Even the overlay should work. Uh, I don't exactly remember the key binding for it, so I'm going to have to wait until I can actually try to invite someone to my game. Uh, there. There you go. And the overlay works just fine. Now, it's a little bit blaggy, but, uh, it's okay, it's manageable, it's just an overlay. Uh, and I would like to credit Sir Sid on ProtonDB.com for uh, bringing, bringing this to my attention because nobody else has found found any success like this when they you know fail with Proton GE. I see all the reports on Proton DB's websites. Uh, everyone gets it working on deck, but with, but when you get it uh, when you get into the desktop uh, reviews. You can't get the game to launch. It's stuck on easy anti-cheat screen. You cannot get past blah blah blah. Heavy heavy turn tinkering. Epic Game Store version. It's just a whole mess. It's the and some people opted to just say the exact same or put the exact same thing from here into this thing. Some people on your machine at this might works. I mean, it, it might work, or it might not, but you're going to have to do the file thing regardless if you're not using Proton GE. With that said, uh, thank you so much to uh, Sir Sid, like I said. Uh, I hit him up uh, on Steam, we talked a little bit about it, and he told me how he did it. And if you still couldn't get the game to work, then you might want to try asking the guys over at ProtonDB's, uh, what was it? ProtonDB's Discord server. Now the game, the guys on here, are not affiliated with Valve whatsoever. So don't expect immediate uh, answers or very accurate ones at that. And if you want to. If you want to also force um, the 16 by 10 uh, resolution, if it al already isn't working for you with Proton GE, then you might want to do this. I'm going to set this in. I'm 
going to put this in the description so that everyone can see. Now with that said, uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if there is a way to get the game running without the terminal launching for Epic Online Services, then I would love to know. I'll make an updated uh, version of this video if, if I find uh, a way to do that. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.